Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, Say, so I just wanted to do a quick review on the uh, Samyang 24 1.4 versus the Sigma Art 20 1.4. Uh, this was on a Nikon EA10. Uh, both images were shot at the same settings. Uh, got a nice clear sky last night. Just wanted to do a quick test on these two lenses since I couldn't find anything else out there. Um, I shot these at f1.4, obviously, uh, only ISO 1000, just doing a test here. Um, 10 seconds for both. The uh, Sigma has a little bit of a smaller clear aperture since it's a 20, but um, and that's why it appears a little bit darker. But the Sigma um, can be shot longer without trailing. So if I really wanted to get into uh, a test on vignetting and that sort of thing, uh, I could have try to match the exposure, but I didn't. This is strictly on sharpness and coma and uh, and that sort of thing. So um, let's take a look at these. The Sigma is always gonna be over here on the right, and the Samyang is gonna be on the left. Um, I believe I have a nice centered copy of this lens, of this, the Samyang. Um, you know, there's a lot of bad ones out there, and even the good ones, it seems like they even become bad over time. Um, and that's kind of just another frustration with that lens. Um, you know, I've, I've loved this lens over the years. I started with the D3S and really, really loved it. But on the DA10, it's just starting to show its age. Um, and this right here is what was really starting to bother me last summer when I was shooting the Milky Way. These would, these stars that were really haloed and kind of fuzzy. Um, this is as sharp as the lens will get to. Um, this was just really starting to become a frustration. And, and even trying to focus this thing at night um, on a sharp star, a sharp object, I mean, it, it, there is really no, um, if you're really, really, really good at manually focusing, good for you. Um, I, I'm not, I don't do it that often, but I take my time and you know, this, this is, this is as sharp as I can get this lens. The, on the right here, the Sigma, this was autofocus, okay? So <laughs> that's, that's what I really like about the, um, using the autofocus lenses for Astro. I know a lot of people don't do that, but um, just focus on a really distant uh, light, or if, you don't, if you're in a totally dark area, you can just bring a big flashlight and shine it on a tree or mountain or rock in the horizon, focus on that. Um, I found that to be the best way to always nail focus, just perfect. But anyway, it's a lot quicker too. Um, I you know, focused the Sigma in a second, whereas this took me a, took me about a minute to get the star just right in live view. Um, and then you're afraid of like bumping it while you're touching it and everything. So anyway, um, let's take a look at the, uh, the haloing and the uh, contrast, low contrast is really what comes down to my frustration with the Samyang. Um, let's go over to the corner here. And the far corner, um, you can see the Samyang has some coma. It's not as uh, pronounced as the Sigma, but it's also not as sharp. So I feel like some of the lack of coma is being masked by the low contrast and the lack of sharpness in the Samyang. Whereas the Sigma is pretty darn sharp right in the corner. And that's what I feel like gives you that kind of tighter looking coma um, or sharper looking coma uh, than the Samyang. So to me, it's acceptable. Um, it's, uh, it, it gets a little bit better towards mid frame. And but overall, the stars are just sharper in the Sigma. Uh, and that's, that's really what I was going for. I, I kind of stopped using the Samyang on the DA-10 because of the lack of sharpness on, on these big bright stars. Um, it was becoming really noticeable, even to the point where my wife would look at some pictures and say, how come these are blurry? <laughs> and she has, you know, no interest in sharpness of photos at all. Um, so, you know, um, looking over at the, the Sigma, you can see that the, even the bright stars do stay sharp. So you might say, um, well, the coma is a deal breaker for me. Well, 
you know, I don't like coma either, but uh, let's just now take the sigma image and make it the equivalent of the 24 millimeter image. Um, so I did that and I used these three stars in the upper left corner as kind of a reference point uh, to try to uh, match the same resolution and uh, keep everything looking the same at the 24 millimeter level. And what I found is obviously the vignetting practically goes away on the Sigma. And the coma is a lot better. Um, now, when you're comparing this far edge of the Samyang to more of a mid frame of the Sigma, um, it becomes a lot more acceptable. And now you've got a better center and a almost as good as the Samyang. Well, to me, I'd actually, I prefer the Sigma over the Samyang here because it's just less blurry. All of these stars here are just sharper. Um, and if you're not watching this video in 4K, I recommend it so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, it might not show up that well just in 1080. So let's go to the other side of the frame here. You can kind of see it wherever you go, especially in the corners, you know, Colma Schmolma. I, I just, this sharpness is better to me and more pleasing. Um, than you know having fuzziness in the uh, in the stars um, and like I said on D3s to, uh, 12 and maybe even 24 megapixel sensor the, the you know low contrast um, and this kind of strange haloing going on uh, is acceptable but it's just you know on the D, D810 a 36 megapixel sensor just just couldn't do it anymore. So um, let me know what you think, um, your thoughts. Um, I also recommend the, the Nikon 24 1.8 kind of replaced my Samyang. It has a little better coma uh, correction than the Sigma 20, but it's only a 1.8 and, uh, and it has vignetting too. So I feel like this right now, the Sigma is kind of the best, the best option out there. Um, I passed on the Sigma, uh, 14 1.8 just because I I like uh, the the Nikon 14 to 24 seems wider uh, and um, has probably no vignetting so this is kind of my combo um, is this the Nikon 14 to 24 and the Sigma and just wanted to kind of share my findings with uh, with everyone out there to um, hopefully offer some insight if you're looking to uh, make an upgrade from the, the Samyang. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Take care.